Three years ago, teenagers racing in their cars killed a young mother and her baby. The young men are now in prison, but the fallout is far from over. There is a growing movement on social media to free one of the men. Gloria Gomez's true crime series continues tonight with the Bayshore cra crash, and the entire world is still reacting to it. May 23rd of 2018 was such a catastrophic day. And she said something bad had happened. I collapsed in absolute fear. She told me that Jesse and Lilia were hit. Every day since, we wake up to the same reality and the same nightmare that Jessica and Lilia are gone. On a warm summer day of May of 2018, Jessica Ravenold and her one-year-old daughter, Lilia, were killed on one of the most iconic and scenic roads in Tampa, Bayshore Boulevard. The mother and child were crossing the street when a Ford Mustang driven by Cameron Heron plowed into them. Jessica died instantly. Baby Lilia died a day later. Prosecutors say Heron, with his older brother Tristan in the passenger seat, were racing another driver, 17-year-old John Barano. Both Cameron Heron and John Barano were arrested and days later faced a Tampa judge. Cameron Heron on page 25. Heron's defense attorney fought to get Heron out of jail and behind the wheel again. The judge wasn't having it. Counsel, I can't imagine what you can say to convince me to allow him to drive. Sir, do you have anything you'd like to say? Heron would eventually bond out of jail, and Barano would too. For the next two years, both sides would wrestle over evidence and witnesses. But patience would wear thin for Jessica's husband, David Rabinold, who pleaded with the judge to pick up the pace. I've suffered horrifically every moment. It is nearly impossible to put into words the agony of this legal process. After delays and a pandemic, the trial was set for December of 2020, but then came this stunner. Yes, Your Honor, uh, we are uh, going to enter, enter an open plea. Is, is Mr. Barano still going to trial or, or is he also entering an open plea? No, Your Honor, we have, a, we have reached a negotiated plea agreement as it relates to Mr. Barano. In a move no one saw coming, John Barano would cut a deal with the state. He would plead guilty to vehicular homicide and unlawful racing and get six years in prison. His co-defendant would go a completely different route. Cameron Heron would decide to do an open plea and let the judge decide his fate. All right. At his sentencing, prosecutors would lay out a pattern of excessive speeding by Heron days before the deadly crash. We even see at 9.18 a.m. that vehicle traveling, according to the data, approximately 162 miles an hour down I-75. Correct. Good afternoon, Your Honor. Good afternoon. Later, emotions would spill from every corner of the courtroom when Jessica's husband took the stand. You've shown zero remorse. The truth behind this is that you are privileged. You killed a mother and a daughter. You did. There was also strong support for Heron. There is not a malicious bone in his body. It has been devastating for him and our family. But the judge had the final say. So on count one, vehicular homicide, the court's going to uh, adjudicate the defendant guilty, sentence him to nine years in the Florida State Prison. On count two, same charge, court will adjudicate the defendant guilty, sentence him to 15 years Florida State Prison. Cameron Heron was going away for 24 years. I hope that this sentence will inspire younger folks to behave in a manner that is appropriate amongst our streets. But instead, it inspired a movement. You're too cute. I fell in love with a criminal. On social media. Several outlets reporting that a number of people talk about his eyes calling him too cute. The hashtag justice for Cameron Heron 
and free Cameron would trend on Twitter and TikTok. Heron's attorney denies he or his client's family had anything to do with it. Tech experts say some Twitter accounts are legit, while others are actually internet bots. Heron is appealing the judge's sentence, calling it excessive, and he's not alone. Sending a young man to prison for that long of a time period, um, uh, I, I think is excessive. But that decision could be several months away. On August 20th of this year, Lilia Rabinald would have celebrated her fourth birthday. Biggest mistake I ever made in my life was to bring my family to Tampa Bay, Florida, because that's where the killers of my family were. Gloria Gomez, Fox 13 News. Mm. Heron's appeal has yet to be heard by the court. If he wins his appeal, he will be granted a new sentencing hearing. John Barano continues to serve his six-year prison sentence. Following that, he will be on probation for 15 years.